Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the great Supreme Modules plugin to create these flip boxes. Now flip boxes are great, you see them quite often in places now and they're a great way to draw attention to info on your site. So let's get started. Let's enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled let's go down to where we want to work. And I've got a row with two columns in it here. So I'm going to just delete my two little flip boxes here and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to hit the button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules, plenty to get any site built. When you add Supreme modules, it gives you another 40 or so of these sort of blue purple boxes here. And it's a fantastic addition to Divi. What I'm going to use today is Supreme Flipbox. Okay, first thing I want to do is add a new item. There you can see it's put something in. You probably can't see it very well. Let's go to our text. We'll give it a title. And you can put a subtitle in if you want to. And below we've got a content field, which is a regular WordPress type text field. You can add media if you want to. You can create links if you want to. All the sort of regular things you do with a text module. If you want to, you can add an image or an icon. I'm going to use an icon. And you've got all of Elegant Themes icons to choose from in here. Put in whichever one suits you. And the reason it's disappearing when I do that is because it's actually flipping and there's nothing for it to flip to yet. Okay, so we've got our content, we've got our icon. If you want the whole module to link somewhere, this is where you'd put the link in. If you're linking to a page on your own site, you'd want it in the same window. If you're linking externally, you'd want to link it in a new tab. I don't need to link that because I'm going to add a button. So under button, let's give our button some text. And you'll notice it hasn't shown up. It won't show up until I put a link in the URL. I haven't got anywhere for it to go, but I'll just put a hashtag in. That will do the same thing. reason it's purple, I've got mine set to be purple in my theme customizer. I think the default for Divi theme is a uh, white, uh, white outline. OK. And we'll have the URL open in the same window. Let's move on to background. So I'm going to put a background color in. I'll put a blue in. But I'm also going to put an image in. Let's use this one. And if you're thinking, well, I can see the image, why did he bother putting a blue background in? It's because if we roll down from my image a little bit, we got blend mode and we can blend the color with the image. So if I hit that, I'm going to put mine on multiply. As you can see, it sort of blended the image with the background color. Now, obviously, that's not wide enough. So let's make it a lot wider. To do that, let's go to our design and to our sizing. When I say wide enough, I mean tall enough. Let's go down our minimum height, drag it to where we want it. It's got to be at least that, I would have thought. So let's call it 350. Just, just fine tune it with the little arrows there. That's great because it, it can fit all of our content in there correctly now. That's great. Fantastic. OK, while we're in the design tab, let's go back up to the top. And I want to make my text a lot lighter and central for a start. Let's make it light in color. We'll put it in the center. There we go. That's great. Now, I don't particularly want to change anything else. It's quite a dark image we've got going on there, so I think it'd be nice to have a border around it. So let's go on down. And I'll come back and do a few other things in a moment. You can do the title text, body text, and subheading text all separately if you want to here. 
but let's go to the border I'm going to put in single pixel border but I'm going to have a nice bright color like a bright blue or something like that perhaps this one yeah that's great and I think what I'll do is copy that color now and I'll make my icon that color and I'll also add some box shadow and you may be thinking well if you add box shadow it's on a dark background you're not going to see it well I'm going to use a light color and it'll kind of give it a little bit of a neon effect so there's the box shadow I going to use can't see anything when I do that but let's change the color let's paste that same blue color into here there we go and it gives it a little sort of neon glow around the outside for a bit of fun and let's also make our title and icon that size let's go back up now here's our title paste that color in there and let's capitalize that too there we go and last but not least let's do our icon the same color great okay we're back in the main flipbox settings here let's add another item won't spend on too much time on the content now you can't see anything but if you flip now you'll see it there and we'll do a similar thing we know this one's 350 so we want to make this one the same height unless you want them different heights so sizing height or minimum height 350 perfect you can't see any difference there because we haven't got anything in there and we'll go ahead and we'll put in our background and again I'll put in a color I'll put in a different color this time and we'll put in the same image and we'll blend this one to see what we've got now there we go that's great but I want to add my button and I want to make my text visible so while we're in the design let's go to our text I haven't added an icon to the back I want my text to be light in color that's better and I want to give it some padding on the left say 30 pixels or so so if we go down to spacing let's give it 30 pixels on the left that's better now we just need to add the button down to the button whatever it is you want to say put your URL in there we go now we'll do a similar thing with the border but we'll use a purple color and we're good to go so back to our design tab let's go down to the border and again I'll give it a single pixel and I want to make it that purple color and the same thing with the box shadow and select this one give it the same color have a look yep that works absolutely fine save our changes save that what I'll do is I quickly duplicate this and drag this one over here now if I go into this one I just take them the other way around we've got an opposite set so let's save our page changes save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the visual builder go down to where we were and there's our little flip box that's a pretty cool little effect like I say that's going to get some eyeballs on it if your mouse goes over it and that will get your message across so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.